customization and gameplay of the Focus RS RX Low Motorsport Edition. What's going on? My name is Sid and welcome back to our channel. Yesterday has finally finished the motor pass. Thank you again to Ubisoft for making this possible by giving me the crew credits to show you all of the motor pass cars within four days of the update. Of course, a thank you to them and a welcome to you to the final episode of Season 3, Episode 1's Motor Pass series. Yes, as you know, I always go through every single Motor Pass vehicle when the updates come out. So I can provide that content for you lot and you lot have a log to go back on, see every Motor Pass car, see what they were like, see which ones they added, and get a gauge on each Motor Pass. And now that I'm finished with the Motor Pass series, I'm gonna be going back to the regularly scheduled Sid Watch content and I have some very unique and new and very new to the crew especially ideas coming out soon. So stick around for all of that. And I think without further ado, of course, today we're going to be going into the Glow Motorsport Edition Tier 49 Focus RS RX. So let's go into the game. Yes, and here we are. And as you can see, I did accidentally click on it and I couldn't get the shot of me going onto it. But here I am with the Focus RS RX Glow Motorsport. That is a massive spoiler. What is that? Jesus Christ! Huh? <laughs> I want to see what the normal focus looks like now. What? And the front spoiler is a sick idea. The front spoiler is a very sick idea. Of course, it's got a very uh, hill climb vibe to it. Even though, even though it's rally cross, which doesn't make the most sense, but you know. Of course, we got the safety car rooftop, and as well as that, we've got the glow motorsport outfit. Of course, those we will be unlocking tomorrow on stream. So stick around for that. Subscribe with notifications on if you're new to the channel. And let's find this thing now. Okay, so this is what the normal one looks like. The normal one's nowhere near as, as harsh as the other one. Because the other one is just... It's... Well, okay, it's very zoomed now as well. I assume just because it's so big with that spoiler. But of course, as always, boys, let's take this thing into a test drive and we are in like the worst place to test drive it so let's teleport over somewhere else first well i did try out last motor passes rally cross vehicle here and it was actually brought up in the comment section that what is the ice track for see the ice track was a track on the old game the crew one that they just kind of forgot about it seems i don't know if it was like the the dev that made it stopped working on the project and just forgot to tell them that the the, the ice track's still here, but the ice track has realistically no use and Jesus Christ, that's spoiler! So wide! There has been a trend with this update of just wide! The Porsche, wide. The GTO judges wheels, wide. This thing's spoiler, f***ing wide! Now I have heard that this thing is absolute garbage and I hate to say it. I hate to say it because I really wanted this thing to be good. I really did. But apparently it's got the handling model on Rallycross that makes it really bad at handling. And that's just such a massive shame. It's such a massive shame. Because when it looks this cool, I want to be able to whip it out in Rallycross, uh, like PvP or something. Which if we do PvP later, this clip will stay in. Which if there's a, if there's a mixed playlist, this clip will stay in if we do Rallycross. But this thing is just... It's just so cool. But... This thing would be a lot cooler if we went in and customized it. So here we go. Of course, as always, vehicles and customization. Here we are. We're going into customizing it. But I do want to say today's like goal, the tier 49 of last motor pass got 67 likes. So your like goal for today is 67 and if we beat 67, I know you lot can smash 67 because every single episode this season, you lot have smashed it completely. So if we've already hit 67, make sure you still head down there and like because you're going to be setting the next like goal for the next tier 49 of the next motor pass. So what are we looking at? Of course, no visual parts. Yes, I was curious because some rallycross cars have visual parts, but the ones that are official in real life rally cars, those ones often don't, and this being one of them, so it obviously doesn't. But I will go to see what else we can do to it. Okay, so the cover of it does change the whole thing. 
That's one thing. Let me see the livery. See, here, this is another one with the livery missing. See, if you've been watching my, if you've been following the whole Motopass series, you'll know that the GTO judge's livery was missing when you take it off. The Porsche did have its livery here. This thing is also missing its official livery. So if I took this livery off, I would not be able to re-equip it. This is, I assume it would be able to be done via hot fix, but every time I need to get on this, because sometimes you take the livery off, you go, ah, oh, you know what, I kind of like the original one first, and then, you, and then you head back, and now you can't. Let me see what else is here in top 100. Uh, I'm not sure about everything I've seen so far, but let's get, ooh, ah, uh, nah. Oh, that's actually all, okay. The top livery has... 25 downloads. Do we make a livery? Oh, no, we can't. You know what? I would if I didn't have to keep the stock livery on. Because for the sake of the video, the stock livery does have to stay on. So there's not a lot I can do about that. We could make, we could change the material. We could make it chrome. Matt, is it already matte? It looks matte. Yeah, it's matte already. Anodized is basically the same as chrome. Okay, yeah, colors don't really seem to be doing too much. So let's look at the vanities. Now, I don't know what vanities we got. I'm not sure if we got glow motors for wheels. I believe we might have though. Of course, to showcase the motor pass, I will be putting on all the vanities that the come with the motor pass for this bundle. Oh, what are those meant to be? <sighs> Ivory Tower, you make me like, you're making me put on the bad vanities. I just, they're not good. <laughs> we got wingtip vortex smoke, which is just, I don't know where it's where it fits into this motor pass. Of course, like I said before, we've been getting some odd smokes. We got spear shockwave. Let me see what else would work if there's any color schemes here that I have that would match. I'm looking through it and not really. I guess perhaps this, because this is full spectrum. But in that case, we might as well also go and use that. But Rainbow Tempest, it's not as many colors, I guess. Oh, but are the colors that it is matching? It is. We're gonna go with the Rainbow Tempest smoke on that. And then I don't believe we have any more nitros. No, we just have the spear racing and the pulse nitro, which of course I believe are very sick nitros. And especially the pulse performance because that is my new go-to nitro for blue cars as I've didn't have one for a very long time. And I do also have multicolor nitro, so I believe we will go with that. So there we go. Underglow. Now I do know there is, there we go, Glow Motorsport Underglow. It's, it's not the worst. I mean, a lot of the underglows recently that we've seen with this one and this one is we just find that you can't even see them on the cars they go on because they just, they're so front, they're, they're, the, it's on the front. The field of view makes it so that the car's wider on the back. So then you can't even see the underglow. At least this one, you'll be able to see it. Now, I do believe we did get a window tint. Yes, we did. Glow Motorsport window tint. This thing is looking very bad. <laughs> what has happened? Oh, no. I've got the bug where I can't activate any horns. Okay, let's look at everything else first. There's that. There's, there's not really any... Uh, toppers that would really make sense on it yeah i don't think i uh, i think i'd be i'd be pulling a straw as if i tried to put a topper on this but let me load out load back in try and mess around with the horns because i've actually been enjoying recently because i normally straight away go for trap spangled banner but after playing the game for so long i've accumulated a large quantity of horns and because of that i want to equip some different horns oh no i actually just can't oh yeah no horns just like i i fully like i'm clicking it no boires are being hurt. Well, I guess due to that fact, we are done customizing it. So there we go. The Glow Motorsport Edition is customized. Let's load out and let's get some parts on it. Just like this, actually. And there we go. There we go. Now that it's got its parts on it, I am going to put pro settings on it real quick so I can actually, like, really use it. Because... I am so upset that this thing is bad. I was begging that it was meta. Meta being that it is the most overpowered vehicle within this spec. However, it just wasn't, and it's a shame. There we go, the pro settings are now on it. But today, we're going to be using these pro settings to try this thing out in some rally cross events. So first, we're going to toss it into... To toss it... What, what am I... 
How do I stumble over my words like that? Gonna be going into Central Valley Injure Effects event. There we go. That I have no idea what Rallycross event this is. The first one I saw. And here we go. We can kind of see the underglow. Of course, it is the middle of the day, so it's it's a bit difficult. And the Tempest, we might end up changing. I might change it to the uh, the the other one that I showed you lot. The one that I said that like, kind of worked quite a bit. The window tint is quite bad. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not the biggest fan of the window tint. Okay, this thing feels a lot more stable. Oh, it's this event. Okay. Is this one that they patched the shortcut on? I'm not sure. Well, I guess there's no other way of finding out for <laughs> first-hand experience. So this thing sticks out. Oh, yeah, they did because they put a barrier in. Okay, so you actually have to take the event now. Oh, why is everyone there taking shortcuts? Jesus. They put the barrier in on the left there when I was on that first little run. I'll show you when I come back around. Oh, this thing is... Very shocking. Oh, it's such a shame. This thing is so bad. Here, this uh, wall on the left of me, you used to be able to turn around and then cut through. Basically, as soon as you got that checkpoint that I just got. I'm actually behind an AI is how terrible this is going. Oh, I guess not anymore. <laughs> I have always uh, thought uh, and noticed as well in the game, the AIs aren't programmed to be able to deal with maxed out cards. They're programmed to be able to deal with perhaps hard and normal but Ace was, of course, if you've been around, Ace was one of the difficulties that was added later into the game. And I believe that they weren't actually programmed to be able to run on Ace. I think they were just put on Ace and then told to carry on on their cars as they do. Of course, programming a whole AI and artificial intelligence just, to, just to, to find out what it has to do in the game is a hard thing. But you'd think, you'd think they would have programmed for this. Also, the fact that you're not able to use edition versions of Cars in the Summit anymore does make me wonder what the use for this thing is. And realistically, anything nowadays. Summit cars were nice when, it's, say, there was a, a lock on an event in the Summit and it was the Plymouth Roadrunner. You would also be able to use the Freedom Edition Plymouth Roadrunner. Also, if the PvP playlist is a good one for Rallycross events, you'll see me there. Next, if it's not, then you will see me in another Rallycross event, so let's head over. Yes, we did it! Rallycross event. Believe it or not, the, the playlist out today has one Rallycross event. So I've had to just sit here, loading into lobby after lobby after lobby, waiting, waiting for a Rallycross event to come up. And here we are now, we're in a Rallycross event finally, and we're gonna be using the Glow Motorsport Edition Tier 49 vehicle and see if we can actually contest in the one place this thing is really going to be useful. Because for getting record runs, it's not going to be. For using it in a summit, it's not going to be. The only thing and the only time we can really get this thing out is when we're in an event. So, here we go. Oh, someone seems to have been brake checked there. Someone's controller was on the ground. Now, I'm not seeing too much contention here because there's the, there's the guy in front, but he's in the countryman. And there is two meta cars behind, but they seem to be in the in a, in, a, in a squabble with each other. Oh, and the countryman slipped. No, no, turn, go. What is this thing? Jesus, stop! This thing is garbage. This thing is absolute garbage. I'm baffled. I'm, I'm baffled. This thing, how is this thing this bad? Okay, we can do this. We we just gotta play the catch up game now. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, if we can, we might be able to catch up here slightly. We just heavy lean down in Nitro. No, he had the same. We should have saved more Nitro. That's on me. That's on me. Oh, it just turns so weird. I mean, the GTO judge was, was bad in Rally Raid, but I'd go as far as to say that this thing is the worst in its spec vehicle, this motor pass. Oh, he has gone way too wide there. We have caught up completely. Oh, but we're at the same spot. We just have to not mess this up. I, I reckon I stay behind and I'm going to stop nitro -ing. Oh, we've done it, boys. We're ahead. We're ahead. Okay, now we just got to continue on GG's. Hey, he's throwing a GG's. There we go. You know what? We'll return it as well. And we'll give him a little salute too. There we go. Okay, you know what? A decent player. Watch out. I'll, I'll even give him a laugh. Here we go. And an easy win, boys. An easy win. There we well, not an easy win. There was actually... There's actually tension there, but we then made it in the Glow Motorsport Edition. Let's see ourselves on the podium. There we are on the podium in the tier 49. Only flexing just a little, but there we are. Four second gap. I'd say that was decent. If you know how to use a rally cross. Oh, we're, we're, we're got where are we where are we going? If you know how to use a rally cross car, this is definitely it. It just 
it just does handle well. I think that was not the worst. That was the Glow Motorsport Edition Focus RSRS, and that concludes until two months from now, this season's episode one of the motor pass so that is it then boys that was the motor pass what did you think about it of course put down in the comment section if you did watch this long put down there what did you think about this motor pass did you like the cars did you like the vanities do you think they weren't that good did you think they were really good best motor pass ever worst motor pass ever what did you think about the motor pass because i thought honestly personal opinion the best motor pass we've had so far the chase may be in close contention just because it was really good when it came to vehicles and all of that stuff but currently i'd say this is definitely contending for joint first or first thank you to popular members thank you to famous members special thank you to them and an insane thank you to icon members for the love of life Sid Wadge's daddy and I'm on delay. Thank you so much to them and to all of the members, of course. But that was the US Speed Tour East Motor Pass. Thank you so much for sticking with me, watching the whole thing. Now we're finally going to be going back to regularly scheduled, unique, new Sid Wadge content. I'll see you guys in the Motor Pass series this September. That's about it from me. I hope you guys did enjoy this video because I enjoyed making it. In a bit. My heart spills, so I'm cleaning up a mess. Yeah, I gotta go to church, feel the demons at my neck. Yeah, when I'm on a pill, I be feeling like I'm blessed. It's a curse. When I'm on the drugs, I'm the worst. Shotty, tell me how it feels. Tell me, does it hurt? Tell me if it's wrong when I'm lifting up your shirt. Shotty, tell me if it's real, or would you leave me in the dirt?